today we're going to be talking about coping and moving forward with life when we have no closure after the loss of a loved one. And we've, we've heard the stories on the media of so many family members who are grieving and have not been able to visit their loved ones at the hospital because of coronavirus, have not been able to get the closure that they need, not, not being able to even say goodbye. And so how do you move forward? How do you deal with that, with that lack of closure? So I think for many of you, you know my story through my book, Holistic World, where my husband died when I was 31. And he died tragically and very suddenly. I walked into the hospital with him living and breathing and walked back out with a white plastic bag in my hand in three hours or less. It was that quickly. And now it's even worse where we can't even enter the loved one, enter the hospital to see loved ones in their last moments. So I too had a family member pass away of coronavirus. She was in a nursing home and she passed away and we weren't able to say our last goodbyes. I have another friend living in New York City who her mother, her mother-in-law passed away. She lived just right down the road from the hospital. She couldn't even go in, even though she was so near she couldn't even go in to say goodbye and so she called me just crying and i want to tell you that there's hope even in that situation there's things that we can do to keep those memories alive and to move forward with our lives and honor our loved ones so some tips for doing so is just remembering that we can honor our loved ones even if we can't see them to say goodbye. And so part of the, part of the way that we can do that is to, to, to pay it forward, help those living in crisis um, to move forward by, by being kind, by helping them in their time of need, by using our unique experience to enrich other people's lives. The other thing we can do when we're embracing our personal mission is to honor our loved ones by living a life that honors them and keeping those memories alive and whatever that might be in your home um, in your by being a part of your church or your community is just keeping their memories alive by you know living their legacy and keeping that legacy alive so if you know your loved one was passionate about reading is just passing on books if you know your loved one was passionate about running is living a life or contributing to an organization who might do that in their memory so there's so many things that we can do to keep that alive and to keep hope you know we have a future ahead of us even beyond COVID-19 and we can use that those talents that we have or unique experiences to enrich other people's lives going forward and in so doing we're keeping their memories alive and not necessarily just living in the past but living in the future and bringing them with us so today I just want to say I know it's so so difficult because right now we're in a time of collective grief but I'm thinking that the best way forward is channeling that holistic wealth, wealth mindset to keep um, those memories alive and to, to enrich humanity in whatever way we can.